he's incredible, I think, because he can write about quite bleak or dark things, but he manages to confuse everything he does with the real feeling. His imagination inhabits that um, border, sort of frontier territory between the real and the supernatural. Like any great artist, he's pretty unique. He is unique. He's a pure artist and he lives it. And uh, you've got to respect that. He's absolutely lovely. And he's nice and he's calm and he's very English. Very polite and very... But you know that something completely different is going on. Philip is... he's a true artist. He really pushes everybody on the set. There is no one more I mean, I think I'm passionate about films, but there is no one more passionate about filmmaking and art than Philip Ridley. He cannot wait to get to the set every day. He cannot wait to start work. He's the most creative person I've ever met. His imagination is on fire. And you know behind all that exterior, there's a very complex, very interesting, you know, vivid imagination sort of always working with, with Philip. So, you know, you knew that you weren't going to be working with just a great, um, film director, but a true artist as well. You know, I think he's extraordinary. I had been through a kind of period in my life that had been, not to get too <laughs> heavy, heavy browed and confessional about it, but I'd been through um, a really bad time. You know, um, a friend of mine was killed, and um, I was going through all these thoughts about violence and the world around me, and I was in this place that wasn't really a very good place to be, to an extent. Um, and I did, strangely enough, what, um, what Jamie does at the beginning of the film. Um, I was in that place of going out with my camera, and I saw kind of family members and things like that, and I saw one or two close friends. But really, I went through a period of about two or three years where, you know, I kind of almost recluse myself in a way. So, I mean, this is a long kind of winding road, I guess, to say that there's a lot of me in Jamie, as, as there usually is, that kind of feeling, that place where Jamie is at the beginning of the film.